Let's take a look at markets as we are about uh, two hours into the trading day on this Monday. You can see green across the board. When we actually take a look at the Dow Jones up over 600 points, that's up 2%. S&P 500 up 1.5%, and the NASDAQ up almost 8%. Again, the gains today accelerating at least so far in the market session. But want to call attention to semiconductor giant Broadcom, which is reportedly in talks to acquire cloud computing company VMware, the potential deal would rank among the larger tech acquisitions. For more on this, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Inez Ferre for more. Inez, again, this is just a rumor so far. Right. Uh, but again, this would be a pretty massive deal if Broadcom were to try to close on this. Yeah, that's right. It would be a massive deal. And it would also, analysts are saying, would be strategically making sense because Broadcom is a semiconductor company and it is it would be uh, increasing its footprint or strategy into the software as a services industry, into cloud computing. Now, let's show you a chart of a couple of companies that Broadcom already has acquired. Back in uh, 2018, it acquired CA Technologies. It also acquired uh, the enterprise security business of Symantec back in 2019. And so you've got Wells Fargo analysts that are saying, look, this makes strategic sense. It deepens its enterprise uh, infrastructure software strategy. Uh, and back in March, this company had sort of telegraphed that it was going to make or it was ready to make an acquisition, a good size acquisition, as uh, Hak Tang, the CEO of uh, Broadcom, had said, to, had told analysts. So it was sort of a telegraph moved he here. Of course, we didn't know that it would be VMware, uh, but VMware is... Uh, on Friday's close, it was a $40 billion company. Right now, uh, it's uh, up 20%. So the street is looking at a price that we're looking at perhaps an upside of 20% if this deal were to go through. Yeah, and Michael Dahl could be a big beneficiary on the back of, of this. Of course, that's right. So he does own 42% of the company. You also have Silver Lake that owns about 11% of the company. Uh, and it comes at an interesting time because we're not seeing a ton of um, M&As. We're not seeing a ton of acquisitions, but we did see Microsoft this year. Uh, with Activision Blizzard. We also have seen Vista Equity, the uh, buying uh, software uh, maker Citrix. And then, of course, Elon Musk with uh, Twitter. We'll see what happens with that deal. Uh, but certainly with this one, Michael Dell, he is a chairman of the company, so uh, uh, of VMware. So you would think that, yes, the, he, having that backing is you important. I wonder with the massive spill that we've seen in tech yeah. companies, though, whether or not you that. will see more M&A transactions like this. We know Broadcom yes. has been uh, big on the M&A block. We know that Microsoft has also been big on the M&A block. So those big flush with cash tech companies might be looking right now I mean, at some of the valuations. They're looking at a lot of attractive mm -hmm. valuations yep. as a result of those declines that we've seen. Yeah, and, and we are seeing that the stock for VMware, I mean, this uh, up until Friday's close, it was down about 20% year to date. That's not that much when you compare it to some of the <laughs> other companies. That's where we are right now, right? Down 20%. <laughs> yeah, not, not so much. bad, not so bad. It looks pretty good. All right, Inez, yeah. thanks so much for that.